What is up my friends, so Sorry to Bother You is the movie that I think is a hit or a miss, but I do want to talk about it because for me it was a hit and I just want to talk about some of the themes presented throughout and some of the things I noticed as well. Now there is a video where I talk about the whole movie as a whole, everything that happens and its ending, so I, more of an explanation video. If that's what you're looking for, you can definitely go check that out on my channel. This is more, we're going to be talking more in depth about certain things that happen throughout the movie, what its meaning is and just my opinion honestly and if you're not into that type of video then I suggest go check out that other video but anyways as always if you haven't already subscribed to my channel go ahead and do that right now let's get into this movie so one of the first things I want to point out is Cassius name is Cassius and when you say his full name it's Cassius Greek and Cash Cash cold hard cash is green and I think this goes into simplifying and trying to explain how corporations see us and that is just a way for them to get more cash and i think that is a really direct jab as to like what worry free or the telemarketing power callers all of that see everybody as and that's just a means for them to get more cash now i think also what's really interesting is the white boys thing because i think that for minorities or anybody really to really get into uh, climbing up the ladder of sorts in anything and it's not just necessarily minorities it's just people I am saying who are in a social class below and who are trying to make it into whatever it is they're trying to make it in they have to put on this facade this sort of like disguise in order for them to be taken seriously and I think we see this throughout with the telemarketing and trying to become a power caller and whatnot and cash is respect because up until the point when he wasn't using the white voice he wasn't going anywhere and as soon as he started being this other person that he didn't know who he was that's when he really started making it to the big time level so i think that's a really interesting thing right there another interesting aspect i think is the absurd tv shows that we see and definitely one that i really want to talk about is the i just got the shit kicked out of me because i think that really is showing how we are so obsessed with uh, watching these shows that are really pretty much like n like don't give you anything like intellectually to grow your brain on and it's just like pure like garbage I guess you could say and I think that goes hand in hand with things like we see today's world with world star videos uh, even Jerry Springer and more and all of this it's just like it's sort of things that are just there to keep you entertained but don't really offer any growth for your mind and I think that was a really interesting way of showing that with the TV shows and that brings me back to the other thing in this movie that I thought was really interesting and that is when we're seeing the protests happening and we see that Cash is, is like still going to go to work and whatnot somebody throws a soda can at him and this instantly goes viral it becomes a meme and we see actually the person who threw the soda at him who was one of the protesters she actually goes on to become a sort of spokesperson and has a commercial with the coca-cola company or whatever company it was and i think that that was really interesting in a way showing that this movie showed a lot about selling out and whatnot and we see this protester who was so against uh, corporation greed and whatnot now she is part of the machine that she was so much protesting and it shows that either side can be bought out and there is just like a lot of flaws in it all and also i think another thing that that pointed out was that when you had this huge protest and whatnot going on for like doing good and whatnot and getting people paid but the thing that people are actually focusing on is not the process itself now they're just focusing on those funny 15 seconds that we saw so i thought that was a really interesting part about the movie was how our attention is divert elsewhere because maybe the protest and whatnot wasn't that as appealing to cover or go over as opposed to somebody getting hit in the head with a soda can i also think the rapping scene illustrates more than one thing and i think the biggest thing about it all is how Cassius was invited to this party and he thought he was part of this elite group now but he is actually more there being their entertainment of sorts and it, it's like you can come but you're never going to be at our level like you'll be here with us but you're still going to be seen as less that and i think that can be seen in many different um ways and i think it's either uh can be seen in a social class way a racial way and whatnot which i 
found very interesting with this movie is it never gave you that clear on the nose uh, definition of what it's trying to do and in fact it was like can be interpreted in many ways and I think also it can go with the music industry as well you have somebody who could be rapping all of these very lyrical um, social conscious bars and not to say that the person who's just doing like ignorant or party type music is like a bad person but it's just the way that the system like is it's just the way that the majority of the population gears towards more of that and really don't care about what people have to say who are really trying to say something in music and I'm not sure if that's what Boots Riley's trying to say because he was a musician and whatnot and maybe he saw this in when he was in that field or is I think he's still in that field and I think maybe that's just the way he views things but that's what I got from that scene is that they really didn't care what he was saying as long as it was sounding good and even if it was really ignorant and racist and stuff they still set it back because they just saw him as a form of entertainment and were pretty much carefree about whatever goes on so I thought that was a really interesting scene right there now the biggest thing that people are talking about this movie definitely has to do with the horses and turning people into horses as Stephen Liff wants to do and I think that goes with the whole phrase they're working you like a horse and we see that horses are seen throughout the movie as well as we see them throughout Liv's home we see he's on the book cover riding a horse the plate with the powder that Cash has thought was coke has some horses on there and we also see it with Mr. Blank also eating apples as they say horses do so I thought that that was really interesting that things were laid out for us in front of us and they were giving us sort of clues as to what Stephen Lift was wanting to do and how he got to that point now I also think that it's really interesting early on in the film that somebody says this is telemarketing we're not remapping the human genome here and I thought that was really interesting because that's exactly what happens by the end of the film and really great way to foreshadow all of this but overall I think those were some of the biggest messages in this movie that I caught myself and I think the biggest one of them all is just how corporation greed starts to see people as less than and maybe not literally turn them into horses but work them like horses and not see them as equals to them because we see Stephen Liv saying that these people aren't like us and whatnot they're gonna be their own whatever and they can do whatever they want but they will be more efficient I think that's how much corporations push like people to do and all for the profits and whatnot so I think that was really interesting to cover in this movie and there's a lot of theories going on about whether Cassius did accept Stephen Lift's offer to become the Equisepians like MLK and have them sort of toned down if they ever want to revolt and I thought that was interesting to, to note because a lot of people are pointing out that we never knew if Cassius really did take that offer or not and then we see him at the end actually turn into the Equisepian and we see him come to Stephen Lift's house we're not too sure what he's going to do there but we're not too sure either if he's actually going to go through with maybe beating up Stephen Lift to get the antidote or if he's actually behind the scenes agreed to do it and we're not sh sure of that. I like to think that Cassius isn't going to do it because why would he go through all that trouble to dismantle and whatnot. Although it did backfire on him and Stephen Lift's stocks did went up. It's, it's still a really interesting theory that I think needs a little more digging and I definitely have to watch the movie one more time and see if I didn't miss something there. Also some people are pointing out uh, about Stephen List's plan about having an industry plan in there in order to pretty much get the people riled up but still keep them down. And a lot of people are saying that that could be squeezed for the telemarketing job as he says he goes around and just starts things wherever he goes. So I thought that was a really interesting theory. but. I'm not too sure how much that one holds up as well because it just doesn't make sense why would they want this to happen but hey that's just my own thoughts about this movie as I said I think this movie is one of the best movies out there but I think it is a polarizing movie because you either hate it you love it there's no in between and I can totally get why you wouldn't like this movie or would walk out there's a lot of people that do that during this movie because I think that Although I see it as a great movie, I do see some of those things that might occur in this movie where I was thinking, mm, yeah, and, and I was just like, I can still sit through it and watch the rest of it because I do enjoy 
like these things and these uh, ideas be presented more than maybe a little bit of a sidestep or um, something that didn't really make that much sense happen. But overall, I think that this movie is a great movie, a great piece of art to definitely, definitely will be living like this movie could have come out five years ago and it still would be relevant and it could have came out 15 years from now and it still will be relevant because I think the way that it was so absurd and it just wasn't too on the nose like I talked about the purge being because if something like the purge came out five years ago it wouldn't be um I, I just don't know how to explain it like it would lose its um flair to it if it comes out maybe 20 years from now or we see it 30 years from now but I think something like sorry to bother you is something that is so absurd and whatnot and it doesn't really go too on the nose with current political issues that it would still be relevant and fresh whenever we see it a couple of years down the line and that's what I think really makes it such a great movie but those are just my thoughts on the movie there's a lot more to dissect of course as Detroit's character was pretty much uh, the opposite of Cassius and sort of I feel like they were two different mentalities in one's mind where I think Cassius is that person inside of you and all of us that's saying no we stick to the script and we can go from the inside and whatnot and see what's going on and really get to the bottom of everything and solve it where also I think that Detroit lives inside of all of us as well and is that other voice that's like no we got to stick it we got to go full on throttle and we can't give up and I think that was a really interesting balance to show both in how humans have both of those inside of them and we always have to choose between the two, but it wasn't until they both started working together that they actually were able to accomplish something. I think that was really interesting uh, to Boots Riley to show is that sometimes maybe it's not just all about just going out there and revolting and whatnot. Sometimes you also have to work by the rules that are set in place and when you mix both for them then that's when you have success that's just my thoughts you let me know your thoughts below though what was your favorite scene in this movie did you like it did you not i like to know why you liked it or why you did it in the comments below but as always those are just the things i checked out let me know what you checked out if i missed any make sure you subscribe for more stuff let's get the fight down subscribers san diego comic con is this weekend we will definitely be covering trailers all the news that breaks out so make sure you're subscribed here for more on that but as always i'll see you next time this is nerd Ground. stay positive